GMS supports the ModFlow stream packages, including the STR and SFR packages. You can import or digitize your stream network and, with the click of a button, define the stream segment and reach numbering on the ModFlow grid. We'll start with a simple example from the SFR package documentation. Here we've imported a background image into GMS showing our simple stream network. We've also created a 3D grid and a basic ModFlow model. We'll create a new ModFlow conceptual model and a new coverage with stream attributes. Now we'll create arcs by tracing over the streams in the background image. With the streams created, we can turn off the background image. With streams, the direction of the arcs is important. We'll turn on the direction arrows and make all the arcs point downstream by reversing the direction of the arcs that are pointing the wrong way. Now we'll assign attributes to the arcs. The first arc uses a flow table to relate depth and flow. We specify the flow, the hydraulic conductivity, thickness, and elevation of the stream bed at the upstream and downstream ends of the segment. We'll paste in the depth versus flow table from a spreadsheet. I follow the same procedure for defining attributes on the rest of the arcs. Let's skip ahead to where the attributes have been set on all of the stream arcs. Now let's display the stream segment IDs. Notice they are all zero because GMS hasn't yet figured out what they should be. Now we are ready to map the conceptual model to the ModFlow grid. We hit the Map to ModFlow button. In a brief second, GMS creates stream segment and reach data in the cells of the grid underneath the streams. Notice the stream segment numbers on the arcs are now numbered correctly from upstream to downstream. The Map to ModFlow operation created all the data for the SFR package. Let's look at the package dialog. The reaches table has been populated with the correct reach lengths in each cell. The segments table shows all the information from our conceptual model. The stream segments and reaches have been numbered correctly from upstream to downstream. The rest of the ModFlow inputs have already been entered so we can now save and run ModFlow. When we read the solution, GMS turns on contours. We've shown how to create stream package data from a conceptual model by digitizing a stream network in GMS. You can also import a stream network from a shapefile. That is demonstrated in another video.